playing the Outer World, Outer Wilds today. Don't get it mixed up with Outer Worlds. Outer Wilds. Right. And um, I've heard such good things about this game. In particular, Matt and also Walt. You guys know both of those guys said it was like their favorite game ever. Like, so um, I'm I'm very excited to to check it out. All right, we're gonna start as any good day should start by uh, by waking up. Oh, I'm not human. Look at these spots. Oh my god, I can roast a marshmallow. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. No, I caught it on fire! Oh god, it's on fire! Oh no. <laughs> 10 out of 10 game of the year. Starting the game off with marshmallow roasting. Hello, Slate. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. Oh, this man has four eyes. Okay. Oh, this game is beautiful. Also, is that a full tin of marshmallows? Fuck yeah. Wires launch codes. Oh, hang on. This is the rocket? Oh, I don't know how much I trust this. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a model ship. Oh, 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 no. Oh god, okay. Yeah, I'm really glad I practiced first before we do this in space. Oh god, okay, oh. <laughs> so I guess I must look kind of like these guys, because I think my skin kind of looked blue like these guys. Hello, Porphy. Heyo, Hatching. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gossin open up a bottle of the good stuff. I can either be a smartass or diss the liquor. I'll be a smartass. I'm only seeking an adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Oh, that's so cool. So there's someone 15,000 meters away. I saw smoke coming from Youngbar Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. Tech tight. So what is this? Scout launcher. Oh! What does that do? Oh, then I can take pictures from wherever the scout is. He's being launched over that way right now. I'm glad you did. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. Clockwise from top left. Hornfells, Gossen, Slate, and Feldspar. Outer Wilds Ventures, Timber Hearth's first and only space program, was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. This remarkably intact statue was carved by Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from, or what happened to them. Oddly that they specifically mention intentionally launched. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under, under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Guys, are we gonna learn some real space facts while playing this? That's kind of cool. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. But Gabriel claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! It- Oh my god! It disappears and moves! Oh, that is cool! Look at this! It's there, and then I look away, and it's gone! Yeah, th okay, that's cool. <laughs> this fuck. Oh, that thing's creepy. I don't want to run to that in space. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well-suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. <gasps> Whoa! Guys, we're on the wall! 
Now we're on the ground. Oh my god! That's fucking cool! What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Whoa! Oh, we can translate! We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take too long. Fortunately, the Adder Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Oh. Whoa! Okay. Wow. Here, well, here's the solar system. <laughs> We've got two planets in here called the Hourglass Twins, the Amber Twin and the Ash Twin, the Addle Rock. Oh, this is cool as shit. This is so detailed. There's something orbiting the moon, but I don't know what that is. I mean, it's the sun. We've got Dark Bramble all the way out here. Oh, this is neat. So can we go to all these planets? John Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I'm gonna wing it! <laughs> Planning to follow in the footsteps of Feldspar and the Great Outer Wilds Ventures tradition, aren't you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Oh, oh, that's spooky. Oh my god. Oh, oh god, oh! What's happening? Oh, these are all the memories! This is everything I did today! Did you just steal my memories? Guys, this is- oh man. Like, we, we haven't even like really played this game yet, and I'm so ready. Like, I bet this is gonna get wacky. I'm so excited to like explore the galaxy right now. I'm so ready. Oh my god. There's our ship! I'm not gonna lie when I say I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Here's the cockpit. What do we got over here? A little first aid kit. A suit. We should probably put that on. Just in case. Little scout. See beyond the horizon. Illuminate dark areas. Detect hazards and test the environment. Oh, what is this? Rumor mode. The Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Addle Rock. And these are all obviously places I don't know about. We know something about Giant's Deep. Gabra went there. Oxygen refill! Spot a tree? Walk towards it. Enjoy! Oh god. We have to lift off now? Oh no. I'm worried. Team Rocket's blasting off again! Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Guys, we're flying. We're flying. We're flying. Oh my god. We're actually flying. Okay, we're headed to the moon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, slow down. Yeah, match the velocity. Are we down? Are we down? Are we on the ground? Did we do it? Holy fuck, I think we landed! Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Okay, we made it, guys! We're on the moon! <laughs> we made it! Holy shit, look! There's our planet! Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Uh, don't the other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabro's Gabro. Anything else you wanted to ask? Oh. Seems lonely up here. Chat now and then. When ga ground control forgets I'm up here, and they actually do, I launch my little scout at the village. <gasps> we can roast marshmallows in space. Fucking yes. <laughs> I bet this is what Neil Armstrong did when he was on the moon. Craters. Whee! Holy no gravity! Ah! Hello. It's me again. I don't need to talk to you, though. 
Esker's signal scope log. Day 48. Still not picking up Ryback's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossin they're flirting us not subtle from an aerial perspective. <laughs> Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? I'd better talk to Nice. So someone's on that planet. Someone's on that planet. It definitely does sound like a harmonica, though, and the harmonica is apparently the missing guy, so... This. Ruins? Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. What's that? Oh, whoa! It's all moving. Huh. Look at this. Trees detected. Oxygen tank refilled. Oh, so that sign wasn't a joke in my ship. You actually go next to a tree and your oxygen will refill. Holius, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, Giant's Deep, and Brittle Hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. Don't lose hope, Cassava. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. We found out what we're doing here. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conoy would enjoy that immensely. Let's go! Okay, yeah, so you can autopilot close to the planet. Oh god, I see why they call it Brittle Hollow. This thing is falling apart! Jesus, alright. Where are we gonna land? Can we land on this thing? Is this a- we can land on that thing, but we can land right here. Oh, we hit her. My bad on that one. <laughs> okay, we're on the ground. Woo! Hiding? Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. <laughs> the trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire planet. Roots and all. This is not normal. Even for this alien planet. And I never see them move. Is that even possible? Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock, moving in the same eerie way. What was that? Oh. Their moon shoots out lava? Okay, that's good. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's- Oh! Oh! What the fuck? Surface integrity, 0%. What? What? Where am I? Oh, I'm in space! Oh god, no, hang on. Back in. Oh my god. What just happened? I think the world just, like, disintegrated? What? Where are we? I'm all the way out here now. You are here. The imply entire planet just warped out of existence. Oh god. 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 Inside. Come on. Come on. Yes! What are we at? Got ourselves. A puzzle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amber Twin Projection Stone. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first, this warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Okay. I'll- I'll warp out of here? What do I do with this stone? Oh! 
Oh. What's happening? Why are we reliving my memories? Wait, what? Did, did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. Oh, just when I thought <laughs> the uh, black holes, white holes, and shape-shifting planets were confusing enough. Now we have time? Time is wibbly-wobbly. Hey, look at this! The statue opened its eyes! Bet you'd wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Ugh, me too. I'm not even a little closer to understand what's going on with this statue. Yeah, he's just here with his eyes open now. Do I just... What do I do now? Let's go blast off again? Do it all again? Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Quantum Shard. White Hole Station. Huh! God, I'm so, like... I thought this was cool before the time... The time stuff. My my brain feels like it's like stretchy right now. And I'm guessing that's gonna happen again? What just happened? Okay, I, I think I hit the planet while I was trying to change course. Okay, so that time we died. That wasn't a, a time warp, okay. Oh god. Oh, I hit hard. I think we might be okay? Now, yeah, what is this? Hoarding. Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No, I, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pod's distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter, and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. There. Oh my god! What was that? I think that was the volcanic moon. Went out of. Oh, okay. That opened the door. Oh, these are the platforms they were talking about. Oh my god, we can go right down into the surf- into the planet. Oh god. Oh, this is gonna be so sketchy. Oh god, it's crumbling! Ah! What is that? Use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Easier said than done. Oh my- Oh! Oh! Ah! I'm jetpacking away from the black hole. Oh my god! Where am I now? Now? Okay, so if you fall in a black hole, you go out here. Looks like the white hole, yeah. So... I'm so- what is this thing in my hand? Roll. Where am I? What am I supposed to be doing? Where am I going? I think I'm gonna die in space should be the tagline for this game. Yeah, it's not looking good for us. Just dying in space, as usual. Fuel depleted, using oxygen as a propellant. Oh, that- that should be good. I see- I see no issues with that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Our only hope is to somehow land on here. 60 seconds of oxygen. Oh, God. Okay, no, I choked. I thought I had, like, the hang of it, and now I'm just like, my brain is jelly. <laughs> I feel like we might have to, like, go over this- of this bridge. What is this? Tablet. Uh, yeah, 
Yes, we made it. Oh no, there's ghost crystals. Fuck. We made it though. <laughs> Should. Yeah, so it's just all ghost material down there. There's nothing else down there. Turn. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just let's just fucking run around the planet. Let's see what we can find down here. Like a forest in the middle of a crater. Oh, wow. Okay. I used the thrusters and they did nothing. It's always dark. The quiet shade in the ancient glade across old bark. Ancient glade. Quiet shade across old bark. It's always dark. I mean, that's definitely a riddle of some sort. <gasps> What is this? Is this the rock that jumps around? Hang on. Yes, it is! Oh my god, spooky! Grove shard. Quantum fluctuations. My mind is just like boggled. For our adventures. Wow, this is beautiful. Church research notes. Prophecy of Chert. Property of Chert. I've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon. So it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. Okay, so maybe that shard is a piece of the quantum moon. Is it? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I was gonna make some sort of guess as to what that is, but I don't even know. Is it like a mountain? Sir. Oh god. Ooh, can I get inside it? <gasps> oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. It's gonna be so bad. Oh god, oh god. No, hang on, I'm still alive! What's happening? Where am I? Oh god. Oh my god. I am... I don't know where. I I don't know... I don't know where I am. Okay, um... Oh shit, here's something. After closer observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of this cave's pools, so unfortunately we'll have to mine one of the other sites. On the opposite hand, new life. This species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. They remind me of a subterranean species that my mentor, Meloray, once told me about, from when our clan used to travel across the universe. I was watching them once during a rest, and the hours escaped from me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. <gasps> They're talking about us! They found us when we were just little blobs! Yeah, they found our ancestors! Okay, so they are very old. The these aliens were here a long time ago. So they were using this as a mining site, but they saw our little blobby bodies and decided they would leave us alone. That's so interesting. Okay. Whoa! I popped out the other side! Please. I just died, but you know what? It's so worth it. That was smart. We'll have to go back in there. See, what is that? That's where the unknown frequency is coming from. There's someone down there! Hey, oh hatchling, thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon, and I didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back. So I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. Is that a dark bramble seed? You think so? It's nothing I've ever seen on Timber Hearth before, so you're probably onto something there. Oh, look! Look how far in it goes! What? What the fuck? Where did it... Where did it come out? Do you see that? It's like... There's a campfire in the background. I threw a little scout into the seed. You did, did you? And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? Huh, this is gonna be a chore to chop up, and no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? Oh look, that's where Scout went! 
He went over there. All the way over to that other world. Snow. Are we in Canada? Oh. Oh! 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 Oh no! Stop! 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 Woo! Okay. Wow, I really thought we were dead there. Okay. Oof. Okay, we cracked pretty good, but we made it. Mining site 2B. Oh, this was the other mining site. Uh. Oh, you can't jet back through water. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. What? I'm alive? How did I just... Sur okay. Okay. We're alive. Am I underwater? I... I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin Project requires. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned accordingly. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. How else would he improve? <laughs> I like how considerate they were of the of the life on the planet, though. That was nice. Pick up Ash Twin Projection Stone. Insert Ash Twin Projection Stone. My gratitude for the latest shipment, Oeno. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin Project. Oh! Oh! What the fuck? Oh no! Oh god! Okay. Here, it looks good. <laughs> I say as I fucking crash. Perfect. Just where I wanted to land. Let's go. Amazingly. Amazingly. <gasps> Fuck! Fuck. Not amazingly. Those platforms last for about two seconds. Before they fall. Almost out of oxygen. I think there's a tree in here. I think if we can survive for like two seconds. No. We're not gonna survive for two seconds. Look! I carry marshmallows on my ship. Jumbo marshmallows. In a can. <laughs> there's the sun, and then there's that other planet. Wow, this is... This is unreal. Okay. Aha, yes. What is this over here? So what is that? Is that a person? Oh my god, is that a dead body? This, I, this is like the first, like, person we've seen. I'm shook right now. Oh god, oh, 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 we're flying. Oh, I didn't mean to fly. Oh, where are we going? Oh my god! Holy shit! We're going to the other planet! Okay, uh, now we're on the other planet. <laughs> What is this thing? Oh, I think it's another spaceship. We need status reports for all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? So the escape pod that we found on the other planet is related to this one. The heat from the star system's sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans show is a cave system with much cooler air. Looks like they, they went inside the planet. Oh yeah, there's tons of stuff down here. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Coleus and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we live through this. Oh god, okay, so we're not- we're not going down that tunnel. We need oxygen badly. We're not gonna last. This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. To go this way and hope there's oxygen down here somewhere, but I have a feeling we might- might choke. <laughs> Um, oh god, okay. I'm not going that way. Oh god. This cavern's filling with sand. This is what they meant by don't get buried by sand. Wow, it is so easy to die in this game. <laughs> there are so many things that might kill you. Oxygen, sand. Oh my god, it's another person! Hello! Oh wow, you... You have a face? You look like an egg! Goodness, it's you! Hello! I take it your first launch went well then? Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. 
What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernova today. Usually I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye or two on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomena. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. The Saiyan eye! Watch out for the falling sand, okay? I've had to dig myself out once or twice, and that's not half as fun as it sounds. An identified signal nearby. Cave shard. Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during our research strip, and has been missing ever since. Oh shit! The rock's gone! No, it's back! It's one of those rocks, if you look away, it'll just disappear. So fucking spooky. Okay. Back in here, and then we need to navigate the systems without drowning in sand this time. <laughs> Follow it, and you'll reach the shelter site. Okay, we're almost there. Tunnel behind the falling sand. Beautiful. You're doing well. There's only a little farther left to go now until you reach the shelter site. You oh shit, yeah. I think this is it. Hell yeah. Okay, we've got some kind of ruins here. Oh shit, we got bones. Okay. Um, oh god, okay. This, this shelter didn't end well by the looks of things. Oh god, there's a body in there? Oh no, that's my body. Duh. <laughs> Never mind. Can Scout read the writings, I wonder? I, I don't know if he can. I guess we'll find out. If I can shoot him far enough back, he might be able to read them. Okay, we're running out of oxygen, and the sand in this room is filling up, so we've gotta go. <laughs> Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the Sun Station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. I almost can't comprehend this as being suggested seriously. The purpose of the Sun Station goes against everything standard we hold ourselves to, and everything we believe in as a species. If we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect these species. Gravity cannon. 120 meters. Oh shit, okay. We can't get through that. That's all all the ghost matter. Um, we walk straight through like that? Yeah, okay. Go, okay. Up here. Oh, we, oh, oh shit, okay. This is the gravity cannon. Oh, there's the sun. Holy shit, okay, we are... Very close to the sun. I guess this goes with what- Yeah, that goes with what he was saying. See, all the sand from that planet is pouring over to this planet now. Oh, cool! Look! That planet is, like, empty now! I want to go up there! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Oh shit! Oh, the gravity's changing. Oh my god, okay. Here's our first delivery. Yarrow, one warp core, fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core's sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I suppose, more precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. Yarrow, stop using this scroll wall to flirt with my sister. <laughs> In romantic matters, her density rivals a neutron star's. I'd be happy to explain our findings. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I love the notes in this game. Makes it feel so lively. Absolutely. This sand has this planet has no sand at all. Friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ash Twin project, the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's equator. I became lost on Ember Twin. My gratitude that Rami came that Rami found me. But the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Konoi would lose his head if it weren't anatomically impossible. Wait, what? What? Oh, that's... 
That's what it looks like when the, when the supernova happens. We haven't actually seen one before. <laughs> For a moment, I thought this was the Obsidian RPG game. They do have really similar names, and I'm wondering if they were, like, aware of each other before they made their games, because Outer Wilds and Outer Worlds is... It's too similar, honestly. Okay, so Ember Twin right now has no sand, so let's let's go there. Do not follow this tunnel in it to its end. Polius and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we live through this. No, I want to see what it is. I'm curious. <gasps> it's bones! There's bones in there! There's bones of a giant monster in there. I mean, it's good to know that the monster's not alive. This is different. This is new. This is amazing! Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. Was oh, that's the, the bones! Clearly this hole is too small for it to fit through. Hypothesis. There is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valu valuable information undiscovered. Yeah, we definitely gotta get in there. Oh, huh, okay. Are we playing the fossil fish game tonight? I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to the stepping stone cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Okay, so to get to this the fish cave, we need to go to the stepping stone cave. There's so much to explore and I just feel like I don't have enough time. It's like kind of stressful. Okay, the ghost matter is all on the floor. Down there is all the ghost matter. That's why everyone's dead. Makes sense. Aha! Uh -huh. Be welcomed in this place. The shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system. The signal from the eye. We followed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the Eye of the Universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Signal stop? Does the Eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the Eye's choice. The Eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal, or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We could be seeing we could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced incidentally. Uh the light coming through that. Spooky. When it when the light lines up correctly, it makes Cool pattern on the wall. Get back some. Yeah, it looks like it's literally directly above me. I see an entrance. Oh, hang on. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Okay, we got it. We got it. Whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold. Do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pie says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Sorts. Up there. Ah, okay, what do we have here? Anglerfish study. I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. I'm entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. So I'm actually a little bit disappointed. The anglerfish... Like, I thought we would find something cooler in there, you know? All we found was, like, a kid's... how the kids play the game. <laughs> oh no, there's the skeletons of the babies. Of the kids. Ah, yes! Okay, whew! Made it just in time! Oh, we got some more skeletons here. That's good. Yeah, but we made it to the lab. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Raimi and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simply machine error. 
In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is the negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. What? How? That's, that's just mind-bending right there. How can something exit before it has entered? Find some diagrams here. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22-minute interval is possible. These know my were smart. 22 minutes. Now, where else has that time interval been significant? Hurtman confirmed. <laughs> oh, fuck him too. I was thinking the life cycle in this game. Yeah, that's actually really funny because it is the life cycle in this game, but it's also Hartman's life cycle. We found similarities between uh, Death Stranding and, uh, and Outer Wilds confirmed. Yes. So. That too. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh! Cool! Okay. This this was the project they were talking about, but the... The holes. Holy shit, look at that! I shot it towards the white hole, and another one came out before it even went into the black hole. This was the, the things they were talking about, their experiment. Oh, that's fucking weird. Okay. I don't get why it happens, but that's super fucking cool. It's the exact same way I feel, Abby. <laughs> Can't understand it, but it looks cool. Oh no, hang on. We're sanding. This planet sometimes, and only sometimes, has a moon. This is also of note. It disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orbital characteristic? This is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it, or even better, we should travel there. I agree, but our first step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so that we can always know where it is. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. Oh god. Getting real fancy now. Oh yeah, you can see it's looking a little angry. So this music signifies that our time in this world is coming to an end. Oh wow! Okay, that's cool! That is cool! Oh my goodness! That was awesome! Camera. Okay. See, the gravity on each of these planets is different and it makes it difficult. Down? There we go. Oh yeah, I didn't really land. Oh god, there is no gravity, that's why! Oh fuck, there goes the ship! Oh no! Oh god. Okay. Uh... <laughs> hey. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. I already saw the shuttle on the other side. I think I just got burned up by the sun! <laughs> oh god! Yeah, okay! So the interloper is heading straight for the sun. <laughs> Kinda looking like a gas giant, hey? I don't know what that is orbiting it. We will have to... explore that at some point. Can we land on its surface, or...? Oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! We're underwater! Wow, that was a wild ride. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So, turns out it was a gas giant. Uh, there's tornadoes and there's water and... There's- there's a lot, so, okay. Fine. 
They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. What if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? I really want to see the test too, Lami, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will let us see a later test. Okay, so there is another way in. This way, if... I missed anything. Oh, shit! Oh, that's what... Okay, what? What? Why? Where am I? What? Why are we... How am I... I'm in outer space? What? Oh my god! Now I'm back? The tornado just flung the entire island into space. I think that is correct. <laughs> it's not really working. Ooh! I think I'm inside! Yaro, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever's in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. Time doesn't go by. That's how I keep getting my memories back. Because remember when we went into the museum on my home island? One of the statues opened its eyes and looked at me? That's what's happening. Every time I'm di I die, I think my memories are being uploaded. Like, see what? Oh my, what? The f fuck? Okay, so as crazy as this is, let's try to make sense of it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven masks. Three of them are lit. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> this only looks slightly satanic. Yeah, that's 100% what this process is. These are all my memories. They got uploaded to, uploaded to the cloud, and then they're gonna get re-downloaded. I don't know how my body comes back, but this explains how my memories stick with me. Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, we got some gravity in here. Apparently. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the Eye of the Universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, this is new. Okay, um... Maybe this is showing us the structure, what it looked like before it got broken? Aha, this is new. Okay. Oh, what is that? Viewpoint window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking modules missing. Orbital probe cannon. Damage report. Several structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Hey, so we had got the ship out. Maybe now I need to go to to all the other modules and get them to come attach to the ship? Hang on, what does this do? Okay, yeah, this is just what it looked like before it was damaged. I have bad news, Avins. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source. The orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Casova. Casava. I wish I were my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Yeah, it looks like they broke it by turning the power up when they shouldn't have. We found a friend! Nice, it's you! Good to say you see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. I'm pretty sure that's related to this- Oh, damn it. Are we dying? The universe exploding? We were just having a nice conversation. 
It's cool to know that someone else knows that we're stuck in a time loop, though. I like that. It's very cool. Also, look at him. <laughs> I, uh, probably just have to come back and talk to you later, because the universe is about to explode, so... What's up, man? I found something! Nice, nice, what'd you got for me? I reached the inside of Statue Island. So the Nomai created those head statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I could see the Nomai doing that. Not sure what for, but it seems like their sort of thing. I found what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Whoa, that's the cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop? For real? Oh, I didn't put those two and two together. You know when you open your eyes, you see something explode up in the sky every single time? That's that cannon. The very beginning of the time loop starts with them shooting that probe out and destroying the station. I see. Okay. Thank you, sir, for putting those points together, because I didn't point put those points together. Um, how do you stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next loop before you know it. Sure. Okay, close your eyes. Oh, is that actually just going to reset me to the next loop? Oh, okay. I shouldn't have did that. You see this one, like, really big? Renato, what happens if we go in here? What's happening, honestly? That's weird. Okay. Ain't it? Oh. Ah. Okay, what if I go, like, all the way up and then drop in on it from, like, the top? No, okay, I was way off. <laughs> oh, am I in it now? I saw something! Did you- There! Yes! Okay! We made it! Woohoo! Cool! Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Ooh. Enter this place without friends, however. These are lessons to learn for yourself. Sorry, guys. Y'all gotta leave. Yeah. Seek the wandering arch. <gasps> the, or the arch moves. Unidentified signal nearby. Ooh! Island shard. Aha! Interesting. Okay. Oh, maybe we need to keep... Scout. I can't get off here. Oh, shit! I went through, somehow. I figured it out! <laughs> Cheese Louise! All right, I don't know how I did it, but I did it. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, I did it. We offer our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. Okay, because we have come across other phantom shards, although they have not taught us anything. So that makes me think we should go back and revisit them. Konoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into the orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Konoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink, even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at the Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. Oh, this is big here. Okay. So we need to go Brittle Hollow Sub Southern Observatory, which, though, if we put this in here, I think this will project us to Brittle Hollows. Yeah, this is where we're trying to go. It's in here. Okay. This. 
Oh, it's gonna line up now. Look, you can see the compass. Oh, shit! Guys, we did it! That's what this is! It's a warp pad! Departure time is 492.38602. Arrival time, 492.38601. I actually went back a second. Feldspar's spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I checked with my little scout. I do too use it, Hornfells, you burnt mar marshmallow. <laughs> and the scout's integrity reading said this piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any, but who knows. If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. <laughs> Rami and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. As Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. Yeah, so we've actually been to the High Energy Lab, and we've seen the portals that do the same thing. Before it goes in one portal, it's already out the other portal, so... There is something strange going on with time in this universe. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. Hypothesis. There can exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. This moon isn't volcanic, to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow Lantern for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Right, so we have also, um, there is a, an observatory, I guess, for this quantum moon that does disappear when you take your eyes off it. But I'm thinking we're going to be able to visit the quantum moon now that we use the camera trick. Power of quantum knowledge. Oh shit! Rybeck! Oh, you launched! That's great! Great job, you! The Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow, so then the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. What kind of trouble? I saw the Sunless City on the Ember Twin. You mean there's another Nomai City inside of Ember Twin? That's incredible! The whole city and I had no idea it existed. This is great. How did they keep the sand out? If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves by that awful river of sand. Gosh, the Nomai sure were ingenious, building an entire settlement, an entire settlement underground. Heck, roast a marshmallow, because that's what we do on every planet fire that we see. Little friend over there playing the banjo while we roast. I love this. It's nice and toasty. Eat. Beautiful. Sleepy. Oh shit! <laughs> God damn it! Hang on. Shit. Oh no! 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 Okay, well. Okay, this is definitely new, and I'm hoping that means forward, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Woo! That will never not freak me out. Go over there now. Woo! Woo! Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, the black hole is right there. Woo! Yes, okay, we can. Hope I don't run out of fuel or we're fucked. Oh man, I barely made it up over that. Try it. My palms are so sweaty. No! Fuck! Damn it! Okay, we were doing good. We were doing good. Just not quite good enough. 
So we gotta play Among Us again? It was so much fun. I definitely wanna play again. Yeah, like, it, w it was- it was every stage. My knees were weak, my palms were sweaty, my arms were heavy, there was vomit everywhere, and then I fell in a black hole. Ooh, I don't think I can make that jump. I can make a lot of jump- no, you know what? Fuck it. We have nothing to lose! Yay! Okay, that worked. Uh, no, this definitely looks new. What do we got here? Black Hole Forge District, Eye Shrine District, Meltwater District, and School District. Oh, so this is- this is a full city. Oh shit, no. We have not been here yet. Black Hole Forge Controls. Whoa. Okay. The Ash Twin Project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? We could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. Okay, interesting. They made a warp core. Solution one, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said many good know my perish there. My mentor, Coleus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. The vessel's warp core is broken. At best, recall those present when the vessel crashed, said it sustained lethal injuries. There is no guaranteed reward for this risk. Okay, so we actually learned a lot from that. Um, Dark Bramble is where the vessel crashed. As well, it seems like there's some large, angry, sentient anglerfish on Dark Bramble, and we have um, explored that anglerfish fossil, so we might actually know the secret for avoiding it. We might have to go to Dark Bramble soon. I feel strange trying to recreate a Nona's warp core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice, and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. Hypothesis. This will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor, and deeply. I was born in this star system and never saw a Nona's warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I'd bitten off a larger portion that I can consume? Where we need to get to, so I think we need to go... I have a feeling this is all gonna come crashing down around us at any moment, so... <laughs> we'll see what we can get done before that happens. I no longer believe as I did as a child on Ember Twin, that the Eye of the Universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. In fact, the Eye may not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were almost certainly exactly that, circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the Eye in some ways, wishful thinking. The Eye might have called out to any sentient species. Or it might not have been calling out at all, and that my ancestors heard the Eye's signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. Those writings were from Solanum. He's the one who's actually on the quantum moon. That's interesting. Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to this sol star system. The signal from the eye, we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. What is the eye of the universe? The eye is older than this universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't yet know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Of note, from the signal, we were able to determine the eye's approximate age. Or perhaps its lack of age? Alright guys, we, we are learning a lot here. Like, I'm like hyped right now. You know what? How far up does this go? Because if this goes real far up, do you think we can actually access it from the surface? Because like, how else are we going to get up there? I think you do. Uh, how about this? I saw the Hanging City on Brittle Hollow. 
You visited the Hanging City? Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to a you-know-what is beyond me. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to a Nomai, though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. Huh, interesting. Well, this isn't going well. I thought... I think back here we'd be able to go right into the forge. Alright, my ship is 350 meters away, so let's go find it. And we'll fly over the planet, see if we can find the forge. And if not, oh. I give up on this planet. And I vote we go to Dark Bramble. Do not trust autopilot, is what I have learned today. We still might hit the sun. I'm trying my best. Woo! We came close! Jesus Christ. Alright. On one of these rocks? Probably land on a high up rock, though. What the hell happened? How did- Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. How did people live here? And the real anglerfish are blind. That's why. So that's probably what we need to keep in mind. They're blind. They can probably hear, but they're blind. Alright, so let's investigate this big-ass spooky planet. Uh, there should be a guy on here, right? Yep. Yeah, he's on the other side, of course. What is up with this planet? This planet sucks. And it looks evil, literally. It does look evil. The fuck? Am I? Am I, should I go towards the red? Maybe not. The red looks scary. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing! I'm going towards the red because there's no other way for me to go. Also, how is the middle of this planet this big? I know it- ah! What happened?! Did I hit something?! The reactor was damaged. Oh. I don't know, that really- it spooked me. <laughs> what is that? 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 I don't like it. Oh my god, I'm scared. What is happening? Where am I? Ah! I don't know where to go. I'm upside down. I'm inside out. I heard something really scary. No, I hear it again. <gasps> I just got eaten by something scary. <laughs> I'm scared. Abort mission. <laughs> Those were some tea. <laughs> the legends were true. They were true. They said he's blind, though. Which means, I guess he's not actually tracking me. He must be just randomly swimming in this hole. And I have to hope I don't run into him with my zero visibility. Is this another hole? Going in. Going in! The fuck? The hole led into another hole? Okay. Go on and hope for the fucking best. Oh shit, a hole led to another hole. What is that? Oh! It just it shot my scout out. Jesus, pray for me! Oh. No? Never mind, I'm too big. I'm, I'm too fat. Yeah, so the outer wilds- <gasps> What?! No, hang on. So one is coming from there, but the same music is also coming from there. What 
the fuck? What is that? Oh my god, what is that? Ew! Okay, it's a giant skull and another one of these thingies. There's a campfire! Look! Why would anyone live here? Do they not know about the evil space fish? Oh! Feldspar! Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's come in here, well, ever, actually. That makes you the second Herthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done! Say, it's you! They made you an astronaut? And you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you! Feldspar, you're alive! You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. I found something else. I found know my writing, saying anglerfish are blind. Aha, so the blasted things do have a weakness. Meaning my fly as fast as I can approach... My fly as fast as I can approach to dealing with them. But have used a bit more thought behind it. Ah well, at least they didn't eat me. All's well that ends well, eh, hatchling? You reached the core of Giant Steep? How'd you do it? Giant Steep's core, huh? Ah, uh, that was a wild one. Since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Mm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big, hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. Whoa! Well, that's as far as the ship's gonna go, I think. A little tight. Ah! Okay. We're going in. It's so quiet. It's so spooky. Whoa! Oh shit! Where, 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 where? No, hang on. We're not where where I thought we were. I thought we were on the bottom of Giant Steep, but we're not. Whoa! -ho! Never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant Steep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Blah! This thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right, I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see if what's in there tastes any better. What? Oh my god, this is a nightmare, 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 this is a nightmare. Is a nightmare. Uh, I hate it. Oh my god, what the fuck? Note to Feldspar, do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in your life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. Okay, so I'm guessing all this is some sort of hint. I don't remember there being any electricity. But I guess maybe we have to go and try to get inside of a jellyfish on Giant's Deep, and that's how we'll get to the bottom. Try to navigate this without being eaten. Okay, got eaten. Here <laughs> and not getting eaten by the giant fish. <laughs> Wait, does it have a moon? What is this? I don't think there's anything on it. Uh, is it made out of gas? Oh! It is made out of gas. Wait, what? It disappeared! Was that the quantum moon? We're gonna take it one mystery at a time. And start with this. Oh god, okay. Where am I? Uh, I found something. I found the frozen jellyfish near your ship. Ha! So the old thing's still there, is it? That's where I first camped out after the crash, you know. It was pretty cozy inside. It does lack the structural integrity and indomitable spirit of a camp made in the shelter of the very bones of the species that tried to eat you, I suppose. Still, very cozy. Try to get ourselves the perfect toasty marshmallow. Nice golden brown. It's hard to tell by the light. 
There we go. So I, I don't get it. I guess this whole thing is just to teach you that jellyfish are immune to electricity, but I don't understand how that helps me. So I think we're just we're just done here. Uh, this is new. Or have I just never seen them this up close before? <laughs> that thing was not blind. That scared me so bad. Fuck Dark Bramble. I hate this place. Oh god, it's gonna go behind the sun again. Oh no. Try it. Uh. Oh, it worked! It worked! It worked! It worked! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh what? No! Oh, it was working! Fuck! It was working and then it went behind the sun! That's so annoying! You, you do not have much time! If the sun is gonna interrupt your view, how are you- How are you supposed to have enough time? Fucking sun gets in the way every time. I'm so mad. See, this proves the moon landing was false. <laughs> Alright, well, it's almost at the sun, so now we'll we'll wait for the sun to pass. And then we should be in the clear for landing. No? What? Oh fuck, what happened to my camera? I don't understand. What happened to it? Oh wait, no, I think the scout is on the moon. Look at its pictures. Hang on. Is this gonna work? No, it didn't work. I'm sorry, I definitely don't need to take this many pictures. I apologize, but it's just at this point, I'm not willing to let anything fuck this up. So. What the fuck? I gave up. I give up. I'm I'm done. I'm never going to the quantum moon. It's, it's over. Fuck that. That this is bullshit. Sun Station, where'd you go? Ah, there you are. How? That, no, that's not gonna happen. How in the sweet am I landing on that? <laughs> Let's just land on this volcanic planet instead. But if I go in the hole, am I gonna get hit with lava? Maybe. I hope I don't get blown up. All right, what do we got? Oh! <laughs> Shit! I thought I had- <laughs> Oh no. Oh, there she goes. Oh god, okay. Oh god. Oh fuck. Okay, uh... Okay, where are we? I think we're on solid ground. No, yes. Oh, that was close! Hi. Baby! And he said, maybe. <laughs> so the weird know my statue in uh, in the museum, like connected to us. And there's one other guy who can remember the loops too. Um, so it's me, me and him are, are the two people who can who can remember why the time loops are happening, and it's all due to the fact that, yeah, our, our memories are getting uploaded to this, like, central database, and that's how we, we retain our memories. Alright, let's go explore in here. Oh, I don't have my suit on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot my fucking space suit! Oh, this is the story of Dark Bramble! So their, their vessel... Uh, heard the call of the Eye of the Universe and followed it. When it did, a big scary tree came out and entangled it. And then it shot out the three escape pods. One went to the Ash Twins, one went to here, and the other one is also stuck in the Bramble. So we haven't found escape pod number three. I can't understand, why did the vessel crash in that place? Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, Anona and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. 
We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Yeah, so CD, CD Planet does hold more secrets. Escape Pod 3 is in there somewhere, which we have not found. And so, we can find it by following the Distress Beacon. I bet in a late stage they do. Uh, we're currently going to walk across the, the roof of the planet. So, this is fucking sketchy as hell. Oh god. Nope, there's- am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Ah, oh, I tried! <laughs> okay, two dark bramble. Oh, that's the quantum moon right there, isn't it? Alright, well, we gotta go now. I- I clearly had a mis- misunderstanding of- of how the mechanic worked. You just need one static photo. I thought you needed, you know, a live photo. Wait, whoa! This... Is this the same place? Mm. No? Oh, fuck! I went right up through the atmosphere. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Um, <laughs> that did work as planned, but that was weird! The planet looked different! Or the moon looked different. This is so fucking trippy, man. And spooky. Oh, there it is! There it is! Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted, and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, await rescue. Right, so the vessel... The vessel is in here too, and we haven't found the vessel. Which is obviously something that we should definitely try to find. Escape pod 3. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Now launching escape pod 3. Multiple collisions have altered pod's trajectory. Significant damage to pod detected. Navigation error, life support error, propulsion error. There is a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already, Din. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone and we will be lost. We will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the farther of the two beacons, Din. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. Okay, so these are the lights. That we need to follow. I probably should have took my ship for this. Okay, yeah, so this is where the signal was leading, which is obviously I can't get in here, but... Oh, look at the dead bodies! Oh my god, it's all dead bodies! To any who come here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed. Yet the opening is too small for even a single Nomai to fit through, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safely. Oh my god, this is so sad! Look! They're all dead. What we need to do is we need to launch Scout in there and follow Scout's signal. Okay, let's go get my ship. And then we'll follow the signal. Maybe that's what it is. It's a vessel. <gasps> no, 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 no! Wait, what? I'm outside? So confused, but okay. We keep stumbling upon the quantum moon now, which is which is kind of great. 
Makes it a bit easier, you know? Holy fuck, it changes every single time! The quantum moon is different every single time I land on it. Oh my god, this is wild. Okay, what is this? This is new. This oh, it shows where it is in relation to the planets. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of the sixth location. What? It can line up with all these planets, but it can also line up with the eye. But we need these other rules first. So yeah, I, I guess what this means is we don't have enough information. Oh fuck, we're going in. Nope. Wow. Shout out to this ledge. Yeah, see, I, I've done all this before. But we're gonna get to a point... ...where I can't go any further. I'm either trying to get to the tower or the southern observatory. One or the other. It literally doesn't matter. Bring me to one of them. There must be another path. I've been here, like, at the very beginning. I see, up there. This looks new. Here we go. Here we go! Yes! I think we made it! I've been trying to get here for so long. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. One component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. It is now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Di Giant's Deep rotate clockwise, uh, that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Conway has shown me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone. Was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> we have to find a cyclone that rotates counterclockwise, and that will pull us to the bottom. Oh, <gasps> cool! There's models. It's a full, um, diagram of the solar system. Oh, and you can see the eye on it! That's the universe in the middle, and the eye is all the way out there. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I don't know if we're ever getting to the eye. <laughs> Quantum physics. What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Three of us on the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Sava, how can you suggest that? The eye's signal called out to summon us to this star system. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Spicy. Okay. Conway, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Conway, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. And it reveals how an object might sink below the current. So we know now. Uh, what we need to do is we need to go to Giant Steep, and we need to try to find a cyclone that goes in that direction into outer space, but apparently the one that's spinning the opposite way will suck you downwards, so here we go. Oh shit, it's just real! Okay. Not that I didn't believe it was real, but, you know, it's, it's real. Okay. Um, that's a jellyfish. I'm wondering if we can't enter through the jellyfish. Because we did learn that the jellyfish are insulators yeah, I can. No, it just looks like it's the outer tentacles that have electricity. I think we can get up into the bottom. I probably gotta ditch the ship, though. <gasps> we are inside the jellyfish. Hey, <gasps> this is cool. Okay, so we're getting we're getting inside. I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Once the probe determines the location of the Eye of the Universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Rami. 
Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data. If the probe tracking module is destroyed... Uh-oh. Well, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Ooh. No, my face is so... It looks like one, two, three statues have been ac activated. One is mine. One is one of our friends. So we don't know who's activated the third. There's one other... If if I'm interpreting this correctly, I, I might be way out of left field here, but if I'm interpreting this correctly, there's one other person whose memories are getting stored and, and re-uploaded upon each cycle. So that's interesting. That too. Ooh. That is bringing... Like a model. Oh, it's right there. Oh my god, what is that? Is that a- Oh my god, I keep- My gravity is fucked. Um... Was that a representation of the universe exploding? Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched, 9,318,104. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by probe 9,318,054. So they- they found it. They found the Eye of the Universe. The probe went really far- okay, these- Oh, these are all the different probes they launched. The- the millions and millions of probes. They literally covered, like, everything. And one finally found the Eye. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin! Displaying coordinates for the Eye of the Universe! Oh, fuck! Okay, so- Oh shit, this is big! <laughs> Obviously, I can't read them, but hopefully someone can. Uh, if we can somehow find a way to use those coordinates, obviously, we can maybe find the Eye of the Universe. So this is it. So all those lights in there are fish. So, our plan last time was to go in, and I'll stop. Oh god, 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 they don't hear me, but I'm gonna hit one. I'm gonna hit it. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, this is a horror movie! So this is, I don't know what this is, but this is really gross looking. Um, <laughs> are these anglerfish eggs? Oh my god, look at that mouth! Well, we're gonna get eaten. Nice knowing you guys. You want me to jump out? Ah! Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But I don't even know where I'm going! Where am I now? Ever do this again? Like I said, I just can't wait until this is done so we never, ever, ever have to come back in here ever again. This looks like it is the Nomai ship, which crashed into Dark Bramble and launched the three escape pods. I think, I think we finally found it. Oh, well, there we go. That's something. So yeah, all the Nomai that ended up in this universe were basically just descendants of the couple of escape pods that actually managed to escape. Most of the Nomai that came here died. To any Nomai clans whose vessels can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now. So my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell. The disappearance of Eskel. That's no myth, friends. Eskel's clan existed, and their story was real. 
This is Eskel's vessel. Something went madly wrong during our warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside itself. Wow, so apparently this Nomai clan story just turned into myth. Everyone tried their best to, to search for them and they just completely disappear. Yeah, so, and from that mentioning, it looks like other star systems are also dying. I found the derelict Nomai vessel deep within Dark Brent. Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core is long dead. Oh, okay. So what I was doing maybe isn't doing anything. I activated a three-sided pillar on the vessel's bridge that appears to be some sort of input device. The Nomai tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. So, okay, so, and that explains the messages. I was a little bit confused about how, so w it's still getting incoming messages. So there are still Nomai out there, and they're looking for a galaxy which doesn't have an exploding sun, because the suns, the suns are exploding everywhere. And this vessel has been gone so long that it's turned into a myth. It's, it's so cool. Very cool. Also, this is so sketchy. It gets way too close. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, now see what we can find. Pressing back up again when it goes away. When it oh, that changes things. Hang on, it's re-icing, so you can only, which I think I'm right in figuring that when the ice melts, it would stay melted. Uh, but apparently this ice is. Best. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, we are inside the planet. Oh fuck, ghost matter. Nope, no, 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 no. Are we dead? Am I dead? Where am I? I I have no idea where I am, but I don't think I'm dead. I'm gonna be dead if I go down there, so. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's- we want to go down there, but that's- that's ghost matter, so we're not getting down there. Guys! Oh my god, I'm moving so fast! Ah! I'm speed skating! No, the inside doesn't have ghost matter. It's only right here. Yeah! We just had to get a little bit- I think- I think if I hadn't already gotten- Ghost matter? I think we could have got through the little layer of ghost matter. Okay. No gravity in here. Uh, but it also doesn't look like anything wants to kill me, so that's good. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather, the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. We're still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantly, and the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke! So obviously this comet is full of ghost matter. And... Is it leaking out? I- I'm not- I don't quite understand. I guess he poked it. So this is what killed all the Nomai. I was wondering what happened that killed all the Nomai in the system. Right? Because they're all dead. <laughs> we found all their dead bodies. Why didn't we die? Shouldn't it have wiped out everything in the solar system? Ghost matter can't go through water and we still lived underwater at this time. Right, because I remember the Nomai saying that they found us. We were still little, like, aquatic creatures that uh, we hadn't evolved yet. Jellyfish are still alive, too. 
Oh, okay. That That is quite the discovery then, because I was wondering what happened to all the Nomai. So that means this obviously happened a long time ago, because when it happened, we were still tadpoles, essentially, inside Timberhearth. Must be like one left, because... At the very beginning of the cycle, the orbital probe cannon gets a signal from the Ash Twin project to launch a probe. Unless that was just like a mechanical failing, you know, or an automated system, which it, which it could be, then maybe there is like one person left. Yeah, I'm starting to, to understand our place, I guess, in, in amongst everything that's happening. And it's hard to keep track of like what happened when, you know what I mean? Like obviously, their vessel crashing in Dark Bramble was like the very first event. But then they were here for a long time after that. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. You know what? Hang on though. If we- if this thing drops, then it'll be in space and then we can just float up through. Right? This- it actually might be good if we- if we drop. Okay, we're going down. Woohoo! Welcome, Sol Solanum. Your arrival here means you've already- you've completed your preparations on Giant Steep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the Moon's north pole. Be curious on your journey. It seems that the tower has to be on the north pole for, for anything to be able to happen. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, there's no sand in here yet, so we might, might be okay. We're gonna move as fast as possible. This is tough to navigate. It's very dark. <laughs> um, I may get buried alive by sand, but... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ugh! Holy fuck, this is a journey! Okay, now we have cactuses. That's good. Um, what the fuck? The cactus disappeared? Okay, we have magic cacti. Got it. So confused. Oh god. They just disappear. And reappear when I'm not looking at them. Oh, that's a good sign. There's a light in there. We got, okay, what is this? Oh, oxygen, thank god. If you've come here to look for Coleus, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. Your strange, wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the wandering rock. I was taking notes, and then my lantern died. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. So does that mean not only will things disappear if you're looking at them, but also if the lights go out? Oh, fuck! Look at that! So if that means if I stand on the rock and turn out the lights... <gasps> what the fuck? Holy shit! How curious! This rock took me with it to a new location! I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings. I get inside. I close the door. I turn off the light. And then I teleport with it and see where I end up. 
<laughs> Big Ray, thank you, thank you. Oh, what the fuck? Well, now we're in the ocean. So that... That's good. <laughs> Does the appearance of the moon echo the planet that it's orbiting? Because when we were on Giant's Deep, there was water. And now we're on Timber Hearth, and there's trees and shit. The thing is, is I don't think I can make it to the North Pole. Because I'm gonna- I'm gonna exit. Okay. Beautiful. So now, we need the Quantum Tower to appear right here. Come on, Tower! There you at! Alright. So now, we're on the North Pole. I think if we teleport, we might end up at the sixth location. Floor! <gasps> Where are we? What is this? He's alive! Okay, clearly we need to put these in some sort of... Oh, wait, what the fuck? Hang on. These are the two tenets of Know My Philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. And talky one. Oh my god, I'm so tripping out right now. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. <laughs> Thank you! There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. This is the quantum moon, where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Suppose you could try- suppose you could reach the eye of the universe, would you try to enter it? Would you imagine the effects of a conscious- what do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer may be? We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Oh, Friendship! I, and also, I don't know how he's still alive. He must be like 10 billion years old. And I guess he doesn't know that all of his friends and family are dead. Ev everyone is dead. I want to know what they look like underneath their helmets. I guess they have three eyes. Holy fuck. Okay, so that's the eye. Oh my god. You see? Oh, the statues are what they look like! I never actually put two and two together on that, Matt. Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming if I fly up, I can't. Oh, wait! What's happening? Oh! Okay, I ended up back on the old quantum moon when I flew up through. How much- some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and Idea progressing with the Sun Station plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. <laughs> Obviously, we gotta get behind... Acti again. Oh, hang on. What if I just fly really carefully through all these cacti? Oh fuck, my vitals are low. Fuck! We almost made it. I know how to do it now. So then I'll just really. Holy shit, I did Oh wow! Guys, I made it through the cacti maze! We didn't even need to do it the real way! Fuck yeah! Fuck you, cacti! I overcame you! Sun Tower, offline, as of 0 minutes 34 seconds ago. So, that makes me think... 
Well, first of all, we can't teleport there. But second of all, that does make me think that... The sun station is the problem. Molly. I never knew I could get through here with... Without any prickles. Whee! Alright. Oh, here we go, here we go! That was our chance! Uh, and nothing happened. Okay. Oh, 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 shit! Okay, it happened! I wasn't even ready for it. Okay. <laughs> Alright! Uh, cool. <laughs> Underestimated that one. 281,042 years ago, no user commands received for 10 minutes, all systems entering sleep. Six minutes, 38 seconds ago. Increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. So that's how long it's been since they built the sun station. Or that's how long ago the Nomai died. So it is the sun. The sun is causing this. The sun station's not causing this. It's the sun. The sun is starting to expand. Holy shit! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Don't go in the sun. Oh dear. Oh no, I'm going in the sun. Oh fuck. <laughs> I don't even know the buttons. Oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. No, this is- no, 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 no. Wow, no. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Woo! Alright! We made it! Holy shit! Okay, what do we got? What do we got? We on the sun station. Mission, science, compels us to explore the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy, enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Oh shit, so the Nomai did cause this! They... They did something that accelerated... The rate of supernova. Why? Why would they do that? I guess they wanted, like, maximum power? But yeah, straight genocidal! Look at this view! Oh my god! Okay, we don't have a lot of time, though. Star has reached end of natural life cycle. Now approaching red giant stage. Warning, evacuate sun station. Approximate time until the sun station is destroyed by the expanding star. Two minutes and 52 seconds. Oh my god, that's how much time we have. The Nomai were nothing if not a morally principled people. <laughs> what happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired, Jero, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate. I- I can't believe it! So they- they did cause this! But why? Why? What could they possibly ever think they would get out of causing the fucking sun to explode? They tried, but it failed. Well, yes, I know, but I'm still shocked that they tried. <laughs> it's just expanding on its own. It's been 282,000 years since they all got wiped out by that comet they said that was was flying by. You think the Nomai, like I said, mentioned- oh, wow. In their correspondence that other suns were starting to explode as well. I mean, it's quite possible the Nomai did something that accelerated it, you know what I mean? Their failed experiment could have accelerated it a few hundred thousand years. 
but... Oh man, I have so many... So many thoughts. I have all the thoughts. And like, why are we stuck in the time loop? And like, what, what is, what does the eye do? Oh my god, I have so many thoughts. I, I mean, I know they wanted to use the sun station as a, a power source. So I guess they wanted to explode the sun for like, extra power. Yeah, well that's the thing, right? So they were like, working on this 22 minute interval, but... Again, why is it activated now, at the end of our sun's life? Like, is that something that they... Maybe it's all connected. Maybe the reason they were doing this 22-minute interval technology is because they wanted to explode the sun to get the power, but they didn't want to die. That was how they were going to circumvent dying, because of the sun going supernova. The time loop is set to activate when the sun is about to explode. Th things are, are starting to come together. But the ultimate question, obviously, is what is this eye of the universe, and... Is it worth everything the Nomai went through to try to find it? You know what I mean? They doomed themselves. Well, it was actually the comet that doomed them, but you know. Oh, wow. Okay, we warped real quick. Alright, we're not jumping because there's the fucking black hole. I see it. I got it. I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it. Alright, what do we got? Black Hole Forge. I don't know what that means, so... Okay, this is trippy as balls. Ooh, another Nomai statue! This one hasn't been activated. So there's a bunch of these statues around, just a lot of them haven't even been activated. Warp Towers on Ash Twin. Does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it's tuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. To be exact, it only needs to be within 5 degrees of the astral body center. Of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. Where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude! In that case, Poke, Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Jero your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yaro receives it. Of course, Yaro. Of note, Yaro believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs. Namely, that one of the warp towers on Ash Twin will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? That isn't an unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on, or in close orbit around, the relevant astral body. He likely doesn't realize the Hourglass Twins are so close together, they function as a single astral body, with a shared alignment point in between them. Okay, my log keeps getting updated, which, uh... Which seems to go with Matt's theory that this is important. I don't know why it's important yet, but... <laughs> we will find out. So the last, that's, I mean, that's the last thing on our list, is, uh, we gotta get inside the Ashwin project. I found modern Nomai transmissions saying the universe is dying. You what? I don't, um, what? You mean to say there are modern Nomai out in other parts of space? And they believe the universe, all of it, the whole thing, is dying? Currently? Right now? If, if that's true, how could I have missed so many signs? Supernova were there, but I- but I've been studying the stars for- well, what does it matter if- ugh. Oh, I'm very sorry, but- but I have to look over my charts. I hope you don't mind. Oh gosh. We delivered him some- But surely I would have seen some kind of other sign than the supernova, so perhaps- Kurt doesn't even want to talk to us anymore. We've given him such, uh, devastating news. Yeah, so... I mean- just because this one is cracked doesn't necessarily mean that I won't warp, will it? Yeah, first of all, let's try this, because this this is the warp tower for this planet. Let's see if anything will happen. Oh fuck!
Well. <laughs> they said they were so close that they act as one. So that you can use the Ash Twin warp pad to warp to Ash Twin by lining up with Ember Twin. And I, and I got that. And then I got the degree thing, which I thought... There we go. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes! I get it now. Now that I did it, I get it. But... You know what I mean? Like, I, I understood that I had to use the Ash Twin Tower and that it would work when it lined up with Amber Twin because they were so close that they were considered the same astral body. But the clue where it said that it didn't have to be the exact point, that there was a, a degree, like I said, to me, that made me think I could hop on right before or right after uh, with the sand. But apparently the sand is just a distraction. So yeah, it's been 10 minutes in this cycle. They received all the information from the three... Uh, activated statues. One is the probe tracking module, one is me, and one is uh, my friend who's on Giant's Deep. And we have- This is Halo, we're, we're here. So here we go, here are the masks. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in this space we curved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. Our friends on Giant's Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Malo tells me the cannon is doing well, and that Avans advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avans can. But then, if anyone can goad a device into exploding, that too is probably Avans. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. And they, they were trying to make the sun explode, to turn on the station to loop back, but their their project never worked and all the Nomai got wiped out in advance. The project never turned on until the sun naturally exploded and then the Ash Twin turned on and then the memories. That makes so much more sense. But that is what they wanted to do then. My, my initial hypothesis was correct. They did plan this because they wanted the sun to explode but then they wanted to turn it back. The only way they could start this was with the sun exploding. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. Oh, we are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in this solar system and we're anxious to explore it. Oh man, that is so ironic. As you guys know, the comet actually uh, ushered in their downfall. Let's do. You are about to access the core while the Ash Twin project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. If we disable the Ash Twin project, then my memories won't get re-uploaded anymore. But the world's still gonna die. So it's like, we're winning, but not really. So here it is. This is the core. The vessel. The know my vessel had a dead had a dead warp core. If we can do it in time, can we take the core from here, run to the vessel, insert the core, and we have the coordinates to the eye of the universe! We could use the ship to warp there! Ah! Well... So yeah, I actually did die. That's it! It was a good game, guys! Okay. Woo! Here we go. We're right here. Oh no, is this where I need to input the coordinates? Oh, they're in the bottom left! Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay. I was gonna say, I don't remember them, but I remember them now. Okay, this. This. That. Oh my god. Oh, man. Okay, what do I do now? <gasps> we're moving! Oh, my God! Oh, my God, where are we going? Where are we? <gasps> the eye of the universe. This bubble? So the universe is dying. 
What is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's qu it's quantum rocks. They keep appearing and disappearing. What is this? Oh my god. Do we jump in? God, oh god, oh god, oh god! What the fuck? What the f- To explore a solar system at the end of the universe. Wait, what? That's not what it- Outer Wilds Ventures was founded by Feldspar, Gossen, Slate, and Hornfels to explore a solar system at the end of the universe. The Nomai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Herthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. Of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the anglerfish the least. <laughs> okay, that's that's a nice note of brevity towards this this crazy end of the universe thing. It's totally the truth. The Nomai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it the deadly substance we called ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. Look at them all. They're all blowing up. Oh! Oh! What the fuck? My god, what is this place? Like, I don't even have words right now. I'm actually speechless. the fuck? I can even roast a marshmallow right now? <laughs> this seems very anticlimactic. <laughs> marshmallow at the end of the universe. Pretty poetic. <gasps> Do you hear music? There it is. What is happening? Where are we? <gasps> it's gone? Oh my god, it's gone. Okay. Way to fucking give a girl a heart attack. Hatchling, you found me. Nice to have company around a fire, isn't it? Go on, get the others. Wouldn't want them to miss out. There's another anglerfish. I'm gonna uninstall this game. Another guy. The stars were beautiful, weren't they? Even if our star is what ultimately killed us. I'll wait here and remember them while you gather everybody. Oh my god, they're 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 growing. They're stacking. It's a Nomai! Mask! Oh shit! Solenum's here! 
Hypothesis. Everyone must be here before we can begin. Once they arrive, I believe we'll be ready for the next step. I'm glad you remembered me. I can't wait to play with the whole group again. Can I start? Okay, I won't let you down. This is what they all sound like together. We've heard their individual songs. We've never heard them all together. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? The song is new to me, but I am honored to be a part of it. Oh, wow. Oh my god, like I'm- I'm shocked. Yeah, did I just start a new universe? It's open to interpretation, it feels like, but yeah, I would agree. The universe was ending, you watched it in and a new beginning. A conscious observer stepped into a quantum object. And you collapsed all reality into your mind. Whoa! Okay. That's- that's some next level shit right there. So in the end... Everything did end. Unfortunately. There was no way to stop it. But... At least we created a new beginning. Although the Nomai did find another galaxy that they were living in. Did I ruin that for them? <laughs> There are no endings, only new beginnings. God, guys, this is so deep! Oh my goodness. It is so- yeah, no, it is sad. You know, like... It's beautiful. But it's still sad. There was no way to stop it, obviously. <laughs> there was one... One guy who said earlier, you know, why did we have to be born in this time when the universe was gonna end? So I'd like to think the rest of the universe's life had time to live out a little bit longer before the forest slice went out. That's a good point, Nye. Because, like, it, it didn't look like it happened, like, all at once. It was just slowly your mind's way of structuring things for you. What an amazing game! Like, there is nothing else out here like this wow i am so glad no thank you mobius digital thank you for making this game because playing this was an absolute treat this this was unlike anything I, i've ever played in games before that is cool 14.3 billion years later artwork is beautiful life life flourished again more people roast marshmallows 
Guys, that was... Uh, like, I, I, I'm actually speechless. <laughs> I'm actually speechless right now. That was... That was amazing. What a journey. I feel like I need to, like, step away now and just kind of, like, absorb everything that just happened and decompress and, like, sort through everything. Because <laughs> a lot happened, but it was incredible. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed this journey. I'm so glad I decided to stream this game because this was this was awesome.